Centre Point Arena, coming to you from the capital city of Cardiff! Hello and a very special welcome to the Unibet Champions League of Darts, brought to you by the Professional Darts Corporation. And at this time, ladies and gentlemen, we welcome our viewers joining us on BBC Sport and the millions of viewers joining us around the world. It's time to meet the players. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of 12 PDC ranking events is Chindy! to this here in the commentary box Alan and me both the weekend as a whole and this match in particular two very different looking players up on that hockey we have Peter Wright who as we know spends hours on his artwork and dresses like he's the star turn in a 70s disco while Chizzy well sometimes he looks like he's wandered up on that stage by accident make no mistake though these are two powerful players right here with nine tournament wins this year he is the current world number three 47 years of age but didn't make it out of the group stage this time last year he wants to put that right Dave Chisnell makes his Champions League debut having broken back into the world's top eight over the past 12 months he won in Barnsley last month his world ranking is six and he will feel that on form he has a great chance first two ten legs to win this first group stage match everybody in group B will fancy their chances and will be thanking their lucky stars that they're not in group A it is the Champions League of Darts 2017. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. First leg is Peter to throw first. Game on. Good afternoon to everyone. The capital of Wales for this the second Champions League of Darts. Taylor's 2016 victory included that double over Will Noble and Michael Van Gogh in that final. 140. Top eight in the world. Three debutants have won. Dave Chisnell. 
Peter Wright. It's in the same group. 104. That's Phil Taylor and Michael Van Gerwen. So maybe you can feel he's got a chance of progressing to the semi finals. What a start! 140, 180 from Snakebite. Can Chisnell respond in kind? Well, so much for a slow start. Both players well and truly into the match straight away. The treble will lead a finish. Oh, a fantastic dance here in the first leg from Peter Wright. Chance of a 10 dart leg to open the Champions League this year. Needs the double 18 to achieve it. Double nine. There it is. What a start. 11 darts. And it's 1 0. Well, fabulous scoring from both players. Peter Wright throwing first. Starting the proceedings with a wonderful 11 dart leg. Well, if the rest of the game is going to be at this standard, we're in for a cracker. 135. Well, we know Peter Wright takes three hours to get his artwork right. And then he looks. Another three hours as Dave Chisnell weighs in with the maximum to practice before his matches. So when he's on at lunchtime, as he is today, he's got to be up at six, seven o'clock in the morning. Yeah, it's all part his alter ego up there on the stage the dancing the shirts the hair but he's also got a fabulous game as we've just seen travel 20 double 18 to level this match yeah, and one leg of peace. Well, when you have the top eight players in the world at a tournament, you expect some quality. And these two players are currently delivering one that hundred. quality. Fabulous start from both players, scoring and finishing well. One apiece. Long way to go, but good start from both players. 100. Yes, we're only two legs into the match, but those averages are pretty tasty. More than tasty. 140. Yeah, they certainly won't end up like that. But what a fabulous start, really. Both players out of the block. 134. Race to 10 is a long distance. <laughs> So a lot can happen. Certainly walk the crowd up. 169. 1-6-1 is a finish. No room for error. Has to start with a treble 20. There it is. A treble 17 would leave the bullseye. But he will be back. Oh, fabulous setup there for Peter Wright. What Chizu can do is try and leave something decent, which he has done. Double 12 to hold his throw. Well, no messing on the doubles from both players. Right, two out of three. Chizu hitting with his first attempt. Well, he's held his throw twice, Peter Wright, and thrown a grand total of 24 darts while doing it. That's not bad, is it? 140. Block the bed. 43. Bad visit there. Well, it is a day for superheroes when you have the top eight in the world competing. The two winners this afternoon will play each other this evening and the two losers will play each other. 
Yeah, Anderson and Sulevic, the other two in this group. And we will have a break after 10 legs. The players will walk off stage, have a breather, and then come back on. Plenty of room there for Chisnell. We'll pull the last one. Yeah, break after 10, as you said there. So you've got to, both players will be conscious of that fact and need to make sure that they give themselves a chance for the second part of the match, even if they are behind only by the odd leg. Right on a finish here, 76, a chance to break the Chisnell throw. 97, easy requires 76. Can do it in two darts, treble 20 and double eight. 16 for tops, to hold, to break the throw. No mistake. Fabulous doubles from Peter Wright. She's playing well. Peter Wright is just a little bit in front of him. Makes such a difference when he can clinically kill a double. 99. Both these players suffered shock early defeats in Germany last month. In fact, on the same day that Michael van Gerwen averaged 111 in a 6 0 win. And Peter Wright's just got out of the habit of winning tournaments, hasn't won one since July. Having said that, 45. he is the 6 to 1 third favourite to lift this Champions League title. Dave Chisnell 33 to 1. Yeah, it was a big turning point for Peter Wright winning the UK Open. Won his first major title. I'm sure there's plenty more in the locker. For Chisnell, he's got to, got to quite get over the line yet. He's capable. Treble 19 for double 19. 79. Well, annoyed at himself because he's been finishing the legs pretty well, despite Chisnell being a long way back in the leg. 134. Can't afford to mess about now. Three for double eight. Oh, is it the Who's double it? three? Can't believe it. Well, is it not many doubles? He's getting one when he didn't need to. <laughs> double four for the leg. No. This would be big. He needs it as well. Oh, that was unlucky. He followed the first dart. Couldn't quite find that trouble 18 bed. 104. Well, they're both hitting doubles all over the place during the leg. But the crucial one, Peter Wright here. Oh, yes, he'll feel better now. Four one ahead. You can ne never tell, of course, but that felt like a key hold in the context of this match. Before that, the only dart that Peter Wright had missed for a double was for a 10 dart leg. Yeah, you sometimes get that in a match, don't you, where you hit every double and all of a sudden you have a leg where you start missing it. Hit that double three, going for a single three. But he managed to keep his composure. Jeez, he's got to dig deep here, but more importantly, 95. he's just got to win this leg. Take it leg by leg, he can't look too far ahead. Well, he's feel he can't no, go two here. breaks down. And that is a big visit. That is a statement of intent from Dave Chisnell. 180. Peter Wright responds in kind. Tops for 4 2. Game's on the sixth leg. Classy. Very classy. No, maximum of peace, but it was Chisnell. He nudged ahead in the scoring prior to that visit. Now back to 4 2. He's just got to take it leg by leg. He knows he's playing well. 95. He's got to take those opportunities when they arise. That's a good marker. 
both of these players have hit a nine data in competition this year a nine dart leg being the perfect leg of darts we've not seen one live on the bbc since 1990. Well, Dave Chisnell's only TV9 data was against Peter Wright in 2015. Love another one. So would we, Dave. Here is hoping. We need Chizzy to get busy. 46. Scoring still good. Still very good. 100. Both players scoring in them first three or four legs was outstanding. Chisnell's average slightly higher because he's yet to struggle with his doubles. Two out of three hit, four out of right, four out of eight for right. Sixty needed a trouble really in that visit. Trouble for the double. Shanghai was the shout. 60. Now then he's hit a few of these in his career. It needs this one. Treble 90 for double 12. Oh, just on the wire. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. He almost expected it to go into it. He wasn't concentrating. He lost a bit of focus. This could be a game changer. He needs to get it though. Two more darts in his hand. Gets it with the first one. You can see what it means to Chisnell. He's back in the match. Yeah, just he was throwing for 60 there. He seemed to just throw it without any thought. Back to the big one. So only gave him one doubt at the double, missed it. Chisnell steps in. You have to say that's three. careless. Well, yeah, it has to be. He's done that a few Six. times in his career. Every player does it now and again. But it just shows you that you've got to keep your focus and composure all the way through the match. Doesn't matter what you're throwing for. One hundred forty can make a difference. And these unique round robin groups can sometimes have a negative effect where you think, well, if I lose, all I have to do is win my next two. But you have to make sure you try and win every every game. Take that negativity out of your mind. 45. They've met five times this year, these two. Wrights won four of them, and they've drawn one. 140. Chisnell will feel he's due a win. Block the bed there, just moving to the right. Can you get the last one in to leave a finish? Yeah, yeah good last start. 161 is a big finish. So Peter Wright will also be looking to put some pressure. 105. A lot of players using that 25 segment now. Leaves himself a two dart instead of three, but this is a big one for Chisnell. Again, he's missed the second treble, missed it on the 141. Easier one, easy. On the 161 on that occasion. So go a break ahead again. Two darts at double 18. No. Well, wasn't missing a double early on in the match. But the recent missed doubles has give Dave Chisnell the opportunities, and this one. Is to get level. Tops. Oh, oh not quite. Is he required? 18. Will he go double nine or ten double four? He's going straight for it. One double four, and this is a big dart at double four. And he's hitting. Peter throwing first. Massive opportunity there for Dave Chisnell to get back to 4-4. He would have felt he was well and truly back into the match. Now he's got to do some more chasing. That 
was a big double there from Peter Wright. One hundred and forty. The scoring power of these professionals nowadays, you can never take any leg for granted. They're all capable of the 140s, 180s, and the big miles. finishes. But as we've seen, on occasions, these doubles do get missed. Sixty. Whoever does lose this game, Fasos will obviously be under pressure because they'll be thinking in the mind they have to win the next two games, and one of those would be against Gary Anderson. So it's a big game here. Sixty. He's here one hundred and sixty-seven. The second highest checkout. Can't now be taken out, having missed the first dart at treble 20. 50 but he'll be back. Well, half a Chisnell chance here. On two, four, one. Yeah, half a chance. But he needs to get in the red bit. 100. Uh, one, four, one, a difficult one. So Peter Wright is in a good position here. Double 18. Yeah, oh, lovely 110 there Excellent. from Snake Bite. See the despondent Dave Chisnell. Got himself back in the match. Now he's got to do it again. This is Whoa. the last leg before they have a quick break. Big difference between 6 4 and 7 3. Huge difference, isn't it? We said that at the start. You've got to make sure you're still in the match for the second part of the encounter don't want to leave yourself too much to do because you don't get that many chances 134 Chisner will feel he has to hold throw here yeah, take this leg gather your thoughts in the Safety. break come out with some positive thinking know that you're still in the match well, that's what he'll be thinking. 140. Giving himself a great opportunity here. Big lead, 193. Minus these. 140. Taking it while 127. Six darts at 127. So go in just 6 4 behind. Check the score. He didn't need to go for the bullseye route there, that's why he went the big 10 to leave his favourite double top. Peter Wright not on a finish. 105 left with the last dart, he's just checking what he can leave, may go for the ball. Oh, 19. 94. Three darts to hold his throw. Double 10. Oh, he needs this. Needs this. 30. Well, that was a big opportunity for Dave Chisnell, as we said, to go in at the break. This could spell danger from Peter Wright. Ooh, bad first one. Hasn't recovered, so Dave Chisnell will return to the board. Peter Wright disgusted with that visit. Threw the last dart into the board. Not happy with himself. Double two. Must hit this and does. Oh, oh, oh. Huge sigh of relief from Dave Chisnell. He's still alive and kicking in this match, but it's Peter Wright with a slight advantage as they head off stage. Wright leads Chisnell 6 4. Yes, back to Vassos and Allen very shortly. About three minutes or so before the players return. Right highest out, 110, uh, Dave Chisnell's 96. And Peter lost 10-5 in his first match last year to the eventual winner, Phil Taylor. But what a start to this year's Champions League. And I suppose in many ways, Paul, what you have to say is these players know what it's like out there. It's intense. It's a pressurised situation. It's round robin. You have to, as Alan says in commentary, you have to win your first match. Yes, you do. And you want to be playing a winner's game tonight, not a runners-up game or a loser's game. And this match has started so well, and this tournament has started so well, because the scoring at the very start of the match was brilliant. 
Yeah, yeah, both players came out the blocks. I think um, Peter teed up a 10 down at the first leg. I think he went out in 11. Then Dave trumped him with 11 as well. And it, it was a good standard. It, it got a bit messy in the middle, but when well, they both came out the blocks, they looked settled on there. And it, there's still plenty to play for. The scoreline is 6-4. But the crucial moment, you could argue, Paul, was where Dave has an opportunity to make it 4-4. He could have been at 4-4, he didn't. Peter takes his chance, then all of a sudden you think it's going to be a totally different game now. I mean, look, at the single eight and the top tier, it was not a good dart from Dave, he'll be disgusted with that. And Peter can't believe he's looked that he's got another chance to take it out. But one thing, Dave Chisholm will be very happy with the scoreline as it is right now. It could have been a lot worse. Yeah, yeah, I think that last leg then was pivotal. If David had gone in there at 7-3, it's a big ass. Two breaks of throw down and against the dart. He's technically only got a break three times, so still well in the match. Yeah, you made a very good point about Peter. You said, look at the speed of the dart. He seems to be throwing faster. Well, last week when he was playing in Mannheim in Germany, he's playing with a different dart that he's trying to perfect. He's put them back in the case. This week he's using something that he's more used to, and he is playing faster. And when he is playing fast like this, he is very good. I don't think he should change his equipment, I've said that many, many times, yeah. but th this equipment, he's familiar with it, and he can tell because he's just letting it flow, he's not thinking about it. Mark, in your experience, have you changed darts? Does it make a big, big difference? I'm probably the complete opposite from Peter. Um, <laughs> I've never really changed my dart. It's never, ever? Never really, no. I've probably had about three sets of being professional, but he likes that way. He, he's as, as fine with perfection. I think it doesn't bother him. He sees it as a fresh challenge, a new set of darts. But I agree with Paul. I think these are the darts he's comfortable with. They're proven. He wins comps of him. And I think he should stick with these now. Yeah. And big chance now for Dave to get back into this. Absolutely. He, he could have easily been 8-2 down. Easy. Mm. But now that he's only 6-4, he'll think, right, I've got away with that session. If I come out of the blocks here, I've got a chance here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like Paul said, and I think he should attack Peter in this opening leg now get that break back ASAP because if it goes to sort of eight nine and you're still needing that break back plus you'll have to break Peter again with him having the darts it's a big ass so I think he needs to attack the Peter yeah, right throw straight just keep away. scoring heavily yeah because that's exactly what he's been doing the whole match it just hasn't been hitting his doubles yeah okay then the boys are back let's hand you back to Vassos and Alan Alan what do you reckon Dave Chisnell very much in this well he's got himself back in the match which was the important thing because like the lad said there, he could have been further behind. And, you know, he's, there's not too much longer left in the match. A race to ten. Peter Wright only needs four, so it has to be pretty soon. You don't want to be leaving it too late with everything to do. He's got plenty to do, but you don't want to have everything to do. So the first two or three legs in this second part, very crucial from Dave Chisnell's point of view. 140. At some point, Dave Chisnell must break the Peter Wright throw if he is going to register an opening group win. Alan, what do you make of this endless quest for the perfect dart that Peter Wright has been on for years now? I keep thinking he'll he'll decide against it, but it, it seems to be getting kind of more intense yeah, it's a strange one from a professional isn't it because it's one of those unique things you wouldn't advise anybody to do it seems to work for him but the problem only arises is 59. when he doesn't he do win or doesn't play well 16. if he keeps winning with different darts nobody can question him it's only when things don't go right 60. they're going okay at the moment though There has been talk, hasn't there, of a, of a different dart to score and a different dart to finish. Well, they do that in pool, don't they, when they break off, they use a really heavy cue. I don't know if they can do that in darts, it just seems a strange, a strange adaption. 16. You never know, somebody will try it sometime. Doubtless it'll be Peter, who's just missed two darts at double top. He'd have them up back again. Two treble twenties for treble 19 was the out for Chisnell. 84. So, another chance for Peter Wright to move 7-4 ahead. There it is. No dramas there from Peter Wright. Increasing the intensity on Dave Chisnell. He knows he's got a mountain to climb here. Keep 
make himself in this match as much as possible. Well, Peter Wright is attempting to break throw yet again. Another maximum from Snakebite. Oh, this is a decent length so far, isn't it? 140, 180, 139. Oh, back in the red bit, Peter Wright. That's four. That's just the wrong side of the wire. 140. Yes, the scoring from both players have been outstanding, really, all the way through the match. Just that little bit of a, a dull time in the middle where both players missed nice the double. Ball. Apart from that, it's been a pretty good match. The crowd enjoying it, crowd loving it. I can think of a, a lot worse ways to spend your birthday. Sixty. Wonderful view there from the back of the auditorium. Trouble twenty and bull needed. So may go back for bull anyway. He's made a bit of a mess of that one. So here's a chance for a double break and 8-4. Treble 17 leaves the bullseye. Oh, didn't really attack that one, did he? Quite a distance away from both trebles. Two darts at double 16 to hold his throw. One at double eight. Oh, what a good last dart that was from Dave Chisnell. He needed it, he got it. And there's still life in this match. Huge double for double eight for Dave Chisnell. It wow. really was. If he'd have missed that one and lost that leg, it would have almost been curtains for Chizzy, but he's hanging in there. 140. You feel he's got to have a 12 down to all less, really, to break Peter Wright's throw because Peter Wright's scoring is outstanding at the moment. We always seem to get one of those things in the match where a couple of players missed the doubles. We had it in the mid-term of the first session. 135. Backs up what you're saying about the big scoring. Both checking out at about 40%. That's a fourth. 180 from Peter Wright. All Chizzy can do is leave himself on. That was a bad last start from Dave Chisnell. Even a single 20 would have left 126, which he would have felt was very doable if Peter Wright misses the 81. But the 141 is a tall order. And it also gave Peter Wright the option of not going for the ball despite 141 being a finish. Yeah, 126. If it had been 126, he would have gone for the ball. Options on the 19s. Can't now check out. 141, so Peter Wright, two 16s away from 8-4 in a race to 10. There they are. Getting close to that finishing line. And he knows it. Well, we said about Chisnell breaking the throw. He's got to make his move pretty quickly. Ninety-two. Good last start from right. Apologising there because he just got his foot on the side of the hockey. As Dave Chisnell was getting ready to throw. One hundred and eighty. Another maximum. And suddenly Dave Chisnell's under pressure in this leg, where he has the dart. And that strange world that he's in, where he's looking for the, well, the pursuit of perfection, changing the darts, which you've mentioned, as he's looking to get at another maximum. You wonder when he's playing like this, why he changes. So right, we'll have a chance. To move nine five ahead with a double break. Double sixteen he needs. And yes. Fifty seconds, Peter, to throw first. 
Amon. Well, they can see the finishing line and he's sprinting towards it. There's nothing Chisnell can do about it now. He has to win the next five legs. But he's playing somebody who is hitting maximums for fun down here in Cardiff. Peter Wright sending a message to the rest of the field. Four consecutive legs he's hit a maximum. When you're getting a third of the leg in one visit, oh, he's on for it, he's on for it. Oh, we'll be disappointed with that last start. He'll have that one back if you'd offered it. The crowd was on edge there, we were on edge. Didn't quite happen. Now he's just no, got to yeah. focus on winning this leg. And match. Well, he's taken the one off. Well, not a great visit with a 140 and a 180 precluding that one. Five perfect darts and four ordinary ones so far from Peter Wright, but he's on a finish. Well, he'd love to finish, but just a lovely setup with a ton to leave tops will be the order. Well, the door is slightly ajar. Only very slightly. 56. And it's slowly eight. closing on Dave Chisnell's attempt in this first match. This is for the match. Double ten for Peter Wright. Double five. And there it is. An opening win for Snakebite. Some powerful scoring. He sends a message to the rest of the field. Peter Wright, a 10-5 victor over Dave Chisnell, who will be back and will have a chance of making the semi-finals. But it's a lot, lot easier when you've won your opening match. Yeah, wonderful game there for Peter Wright. Gets himself the two points in the group. From Dave Chisnell's point of view, disappointing with the ending of the match. He got himself back into it, but couldn't quite get any closer. Wonderful win from Snake by Wright. Dave Gisnell making his Champions League debut. Peter Wright desperate to make amends for 12 months ago when he failed to get out of the group. Well, he lost his first match 10-5 last year. He's won it 10-5 this. Peter Wright, with his old darts, is on a winning streak. Uh, thank you to Vassos and Alan back with them for uh, the second match of the afternoon very, very shortly. But Peter Wright, when you look at him, Paul, he knows just how important that win was because, as we've discussed, really you have to win your first match if you are going to get a chance of making the semi-finals. Yeah, he wants to rectify the mistakes that he made last year and coming into this tournament this year, he's a much more improved player. And I, I hasten to say that because he's an incredible talent. But he's much better now than he was this time last year. Yeah. And he, he's more experienced. Even though he's nearly 50, it, it's like he's a 16-year-old and he's still got that kind of passion, but he's learning all the time. He's a much stronger opponent for anybody now than he was 12 months ago. But also, he's had a remarkable 2017 as well, winning those nine titles, so that puts him in a better frame of mind, doesn't it? Yeah, confidence-wise, he, he couldn't really have done much more. The only blip in the radar was when he was sitting on double eight for the Premier League title and wasn't able to close that out, and Michael van Gerwen stole that one from him. But he has a chance this weekend to rectify that and gain more confidence going into potentially a, a final which could have his name on it. Well, no doubt Dave will be very disappointed. He's with Dan. Well, Dave, you started off very strongly holding your throw, but the scoring that we usually associate with it wasn't quite there today, was it? No, nah, it's, it's not been nice since I've had a break. I've had a long break, but I've got to, I've got to practice a little bit hard and um, make a comeback. But... Just lazy darts. I've not been sleeping very well when I come away as well. Like last week when I played in the German, it's my routine for sleeping is not very good, so I'm always tired when I come to the darts. A lot of these guys have been playing in Australia, New Zealand these last few weeks. You haven't been part of that. Is it a bit of rustiness then, you think? Yeah, probably rustiness, but to be fair, in that game, now, Peter deserves to win in what, 10, 10 2, 10 3. He missed doubles, and I just couldn't keep up with scoring. However, group stage format, that means that you're still in with a shout. There's not much room for error anymore, though, is it? No, I play with Mensah or Gary next, and I'll have to perform. If I don't perform, I'll be going, going home. 
We know you're quite capable, though. Uh, it, is it something that can just suddenly click into gear? You talk about rustiness, but could tonight and then tomorrow afternoon we see the real five-time major finalist, Dave Chisnell? Yeah, it could happen. You, you never know until you get up there. Like, in practice this morning, I worked, I worked practice with him. I kicked off all night, but he did the same, and he was very strong, so... Like I said, Pete deserved to win, um, I deserved to lose, and hopefully I'll get better for tonight. Well, thanks a lot, Dave Chisnell, and uh, we'll see you tonight. Cheers. Well, Dave is right. It was a very solid performance by this man. Peter Wright has joined us. So well done, Peter. Many congratulations. How important is it to get off to a win when you're out there, given the fact that you lost your first match last year, 10-5? Thanks for reminding me of that one. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, I've become a better player since last year. I've learned a lot. Uh, all the beatings I've got in the finals against Michael Van Gerwen and many other players, uh, I've, I've become a better player. And... Uh, uh, yeah, it was great. It was a great card, crowd for this afternoon. Uh, it's great to get a win under my belt. The lads well, have been talking about changing darts as well, haven't they? And has that had a massive impact, Peter? Uh, yeah, obviously throughout the year. Uh, beginning of the year, I used my diamond darts, which I've gone back to today because mm. I've been told by Joe, do as you're told. <laughs> uh, I've been experimenting with uh, other sets of darts throughout the year in different tournaments and not kicked on which I'd like to have done yeah but uh, I'm gonna stick with stick with these the rest of the year so hopefully I'll do some damage well you've got to look at your statistics as well your first nine darts were up there about the 120 mark which a lot of people aspire to do and an, an overall average of about 101 now people like myself or people at home would say that's a lifetime performance but for you that's not the case is it you want more than that no I, I want to be averaging you know I want to be averaging 120 class because I know I can do that uh, but uh, you can't do it all the time, obviously. Uh, depends which situations you're in. Uh, if the player pushes you really hard, then then them games come out sometimes. Uh, you can't just turn it against a player that's not playing well. So, that's absolutely. Good. Do you also feel as if, Peter, and, and no doubt you are, given the titles you've won in 2017, do you feel as if you're playing with a renewed sense of confidence as well? Uh, as I said earlier, it's, it's, it's what I've learned mm. from getting beaten. Mm. A lot of players, if they get beaten in that many finals and stuff like that, they, they might destroy them. But I learn of what I've done wrong. Yeah. And I analyse and go, right, I gave him that chance. I missed that double. So he's not destroying me. So next time I play him, I'm not going yeah. to do that. So you're learning from your mistakes and becoming a better player. Exactly. Yeah, good stuff, Peter. Well, well done. Thank Off the mark. Robert. Top man, thank you very much indeed. More from Peter later. Uh, let's remind you how we are looking this afternoon then with the rest of our live matches. We've seen Peter beat Dave by 10-5. Phil Taylor, Adrian Lewis is a little bit later on. And then we got Michael Van Gerwen, Raymond Van Barneveld. But up next, it is Gary Anderson taking on Mensa.